Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to customise the um, Genesis Archives page. Okay, so what we want to do is go into your server and we're looking for WordPress content, WP content. So double click on that and then go into the themes folder and if you're using Genesis 2 um, what happens is Genesis 2, this Genesis here, is holding the um, archives page and um, and I'm using the child theme 1140 Pro. So the first thing I did, so if you go into the 1140 Pro you won't see an archives page there, okay? So I'm going into the Genesis and you're not meant to edit anything in here so I didn't okay um, all I did was look for page archive dot php and right click on it and you can press view so the page will come up so all you have to do is copy all of this right down to the bottom right down to that where it says Genesis down the bottom it's very important that you get everything yeah so right click on this and press copy and okay now we're gonna go back so with this is where we are in the Genesis theme so I'm gonna go up one level and I'm gonna go into the 1140 Pro okay so as you can see there's the home php and I've already made my arch archives page here but I'm going to show you how I did it um, all I did was go up to new file and I called it the same as what it is in the other section so this one can take over Oop. wait a minute so I just called it page under dash and archive dot php you have to put dot php at the end of it okay so just cancel that so here is the page that I made oh doesn't like me doing that page archive dot php now you can call it whatever you want but this is what I did okay so then we're gonna click on the page and we're gonna edit and press edit and all I did was come and paste what I had copied in here okay see everything down to that Genesis part down there so don't forget it because it won't work now so make sure you've got all the code in there you've named your page it's a page archive dot php okay now I also changed the name of the archive it says page um, template name archive I put archive 2 because I thought that I've never used Genesis before and I thought that it would create a new page template but it didn't what it did is take over the job of the other one anyway um, so that's what I did now the reason I did that is because it was listing pages that I didn't want to see in my archive um, so I wanted to edit it it also listed the authors and I didn't want to list the authors because a lot of authors there's not many authors on my blog but some of them are only got one post and it just looks silly so and then there's me and I've got like 350 and then I've got authors with one 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 so I removed the authors section so to do that which I've already done it now but um, as you can see we've got just so I want to remove the categories I would select this from the H4 there I would take all of that that out there see the um, entire section um, and take that out and just delete it and then go up the top and press save and it'll work now 
this is where I customized it I also took the authors section out but this is where I customized it here I added in this piece of code where I could exclude pages because it was showing my thank you page my Google's results page um, a search uh, a, you know whatever page um, a thank you for commenting page all these pages that shouldn't be accessed so I have um, excluded them now I've put that code into um, the article um, that goes with this video so if you want to just exclude some pages it's really easy um, and I'll go and show you what I've done I'll just show you my page if I can find it of course okay so here's the I created a page I just said new page sitemap okay and it's got nothing in it whatsoever and I come over to the side here and it says template and you get to choose a template okay because there's my new template that I already made and as I've shown you I've edited myself so do that press publish or update okay and then we're going to press on view page and this is my sitemap okay so I have um, pages that I have removed and then I've got the categories which I thought was quite fine and I could come and remove categories if I wanted to then I've got the monthly archives and then I've got recent posts down the bottom now there's a hundred recent posts listed here so I'm just going to go up here again so um, down here it's got where the recent posts are as you can see and it says 100 is the limit now you can just change that you can change it to 20 or something reasonable or whatever um, change it to whatever you want and also with the um, categories um, I was happy with those so I left them but of course I excluded a page a few pages so what I'm going to do is exclude one more page just so I can show you so we've got we'll show the page list now let's just say um, well let's let's exclude this sitemap page because we are on the sitemap page okay so that's that's pretty silly so what we want to do is go into pages the pages section so you just press on pages and scroll down now I've just got to make this a bit smaller now if I hover over that sitemap page down the bottom here down the bottom of the screen there's the number for it it's seven three three zero okay seven three three zero for the page number okay it's down the bottom of the page there okay so I'm gonna make that bigger again okay so now I'm gonna go and exclude this page okay go back to the code right it was seven seven oh what was it I can't remember <laughs> all right go back it's seven three three zero right we're gonna exclude it seven three three zero okay there we go right now we're gonna press save and we're gonna go back to the page and refresh it okay so there we go the sitemap link is gone okay so that's how you do it you find the page ID put it into the code and it's gone all right um, I guess you can do a little bit more with this you can add um, an introduction up the top if you want to onto your page um, you can do all sorts of things all right thanks for watching